Hello, I'm Christina and I'm here today in EVPO's Maker Central. In celebration of Earth Day, I'm going to show you how to decorate a reusable tote bag using our Cricut Maker and infusible ink transfer sheets. So let's get started. All right, first off, I've logged into Cricut's design space with EVPL's credentials, and I'm gonna click here on new project. And I've already chosen one of the projects that Cricut supplies, so I'm just gonna click on projects and change all categories to infusible ink. And I'm going to type in the search box up here and say tote bag. Now there's a particular one that I'm going to go with. It's this reusable ocean tote bag that says this bag won't end up in the ocean. Um, it's a very simple design. I've already made sure that I have all of these things available. I've got the splash pad infusible ink transfer sheet patterns. I have the standard grip machine mat an easy press, I don't have an easy press mat, but I have a substitute. Scissors, tweezers, a lint roller, butcher paper comes with the transfer sheets, cardstock, I have heat resistant tape if needed, and then we have the tote bag blank that comes from Cricut. So they've got a few tips here, and I'm just gonna scroll down and hit make it. So it automatically selects everything for me, and I'm just gonna click over here and say mirror the image and continue. Okay, so I need to select my base material. So I'm going to browse all materials until I get down to infusible ink transfer sheet. I already have my tools loaded. So all I have to do is get my transfer sheets ready and we'll continue. So I have my standard grip mat here. I'm gonna peel the cover off. And we have the splash pad infusible ink transfer sheets. And I'm gonna go with this dark blue color since my pattern is ocean themed. All right, this is all ready, so we're going to put it in the machine. All right, so I'm going to load this in the Cricut. And it is ready to go. Once the cutting is done, you can kind of barely see the pattern there. We're going to peel this off, which you can, I think this is called cracking, to kind of peel, peel this off of here. Peel this off and you wanna cut the excess away from the pattern. Very carefully, you're going to want to start peeling off some of this extra. And you just want to continue doing this. I prefer to use my fingers, but some people like these reverse action tweezers. It is totally up to you which one you would rather use. 
All right, so I've got my pattern completely cut out and ready to go, and I'm gonna set this aside for a moment while I prepare the tote bag. So I have a tote bag from Cricut, which is good because it's compatible with infusible ink. I'm just gonna use a press cloth to protect my surface. And I'm going to lay out my tote bag here. And you want to protect, put something inside of the tote bag so that and the infusible ink won't bleed through. I don't have anything official, but I'm going to use some pieces of felt and cardstock. Got to get them smooth so that the application process goes well. Got cardstock to go inside to protect any bleed through. Now you would think that we are ready, but not quite yet. First off, we want to take a clean lint roller and roller the surface of the bag just to remove any stray particles or loose threads, anything like that. Okay, so this is the Cricut Easy Press 2, and I'm just going to turn this on and select my temperature of 385 and I'm going to set it for 15 seconds. This is just to prep the tote bag. So I have butcher paper down to prote protect the bag and now we wait. So now I'm going to look at the Cricut heat guide that's kind of a little cheat sheet to telling you how long you need to use whichever heating device you're going to use. So I select the Easy Press 2 and my heat transfer material is an infusible ink transfer sheet and my base material is a tote bag. And I'm going to say I have a Cricut Easy Press nut even though I am using something comparable but different. Hit apply, it says 385 degrees for 40 seconds light pressure. Tells me the stacking order of everything, how to prep the tote bag, the application process, everything. So let's give this a shot. So first off, I'm going to apply my design. It is sticky on this side. An optional thing you can use is the heat resistant tape, which I can use to hold down this design if I'm afraid that it's going to move, which it might because this surface area is a little bigger than my easy press. So I might have to go over different parts a couple of times. So I might want to hold it down with this. I'm just going to use a few pieces to hold it down at the edges just to make sure that it doesn't move around on me. So I'm going to do it in two batches. I'm going to turn it sideways. So I'm going to put my paper, my butcher paper like this. And carefully place this for 40 seconds. Once everything is cool, you can peel this off very carefully and you should be done. All 
All right, here is our finished tote bag in honor of Earth Day. It looks pretty great to me. And that is just one of the awesome projects that you can create here at Maker Central with EVPL. Thanks for watching. Bye.